Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. You know, if you're going to poke fun at someone, at least try to do the exact same demonstration that they do or better. So, challenge number two. All right, in this challenge, it's about black screen paint. What is the difference between your black screen paint and any other black screen paint out there on the market? Now, the bigger screen you're seeing is a black nano. The screen paint you're seeing in the center it's an Eclipse Invisible Black Nano. There's a huge difference between the two. Now, the Invisible Black Nano and the Invisible uh, Black Silver are two different forms of technology. Actually, the black produces a higher white level, believe it or not, but it just does. But it's not available yet for our customers. Now, just to keep in mind, actually just to do a few things here, so we don't have people out there trying to cut corners, like trying to figure out how the technology is designed and try to say, hey, look, they're fake. No, and this challenge, Jay or Crow, you must use your own screen paint, black screen paint, and do the exact same demonstration as we're doing. If you're gonna poke fun, at least back up your technology. Now, just so we don't beat around the bush, like I say, crystal clear, I'll say it again. Anyone, not just this particular individual who wants to do this challenge, please use your own screen paint that you advertise and do the exact same demonstration. I will put a link at the bottom of the page where you can get the exact same video if you wanna to go toe to toe. Now. Let me show you what we got here. Now keep in mind, the last time we gave out this challenge was a miserable fail for this particular individual because he tried to figure out how the technology was designed, claiming it was aluminum when it was actually fiberglass. Yeah. All right, so let's show you what's on the challenge. Now keep in mind, this right here is an invisible black nano right here, all right? This is black nano. This right here is aluminum. Hear this, watch this. Aluminum. Now I'm going to take this down. This right here, plexiglass. This is plexiglass. That's aluminum. So a particular individual will understand how our technology, what our technology is pressed on. Aluminum, plexiglass. So just in case you decide to figure out how to get around the challenge and say, hey, look, they're fraud. This is how it's done you know it's not aluminum, it's plexiglass. Now, to make it interesting, we're gonna use the Seymour AV 1.3, very bright high-end screen. We're gonna use the DMP Supernova right there. If you're curious about getting a sample sheet of that, there you go, right there's a number. A sample sheet from them, all right? We have DMP Supernova, I think I pulled my tag back a little bit there. Let's pull that back up there, there we go. And for an even brighter screen, we have the Firehawk G4. We are coming in at 12 feet back. You must be 12 feet back or more, and your projector must be at least 3,200 lumens is the minimum. We don't want any projectors at 4,200 lumens and up. All right, oh yeah, it must be 1080p also and down. All right, so let's begin. Let's see if our black screen can produce a higher, brighter picture than the aluminum or the high-end screens. And there you go. Number one, the black screen has better contrast and better detail than a Seymour AV 1.3. It matches the, uh, I think the bottom screen is a Firehawk G4, and in the center you have a um, DMP Supernova Infinity, and there's your aluminum. So, the challenge is, with your HD Cinema Mix, what is the difference between your black screen paint and any other screen paint? Now, keep in mind, our nano black is freaking insanely good, but an invisible black is much higher technology. That's the difference between the invisible black and a nano black. I can put the invisible black right next to a sheet of aluminum coated with da -da, frost paint. And yes, it was coated with frost paint, just to let you know. We did the same thing you did in the video, coated with frost paint. And to show you that our black screen can produce a higher, brighter picture, actually, actually almost equal brighter picture than aluminum. Let's do this again. 
Let's cover this up so we can take it all in. Now this is a challenge. Aluminum, your black technology, and those sample sheets right there. High-end sample sheets, please. You must show that they are the original sample sheets. Got to put all that out there because somebody, try, everybody tries to, not just a particular individual, people try to sneak around. Like I said, if you're going to poke fun at our technology, if you're going to make comments about our technology is a scam, do the exact same demonstration. Three-day challenge. Three days to show that your HD Cinema Mix can produce the same level, bright level, as a piece of aluminum. And also be able to match the DMP Supernova, Firehawk G4, or what was the other screen? Seymour AV 1.3. And please, don't do a demonstration on trying to figure out how it was done. Use your mix to do the exact same demonstration. All right, Kenneth Burr from Crystal Age Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Hope you all enjoyed the video demonstration showing you that we are the best at what we 